All right. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about shipping semen from home. Now, whether you're a novice breeder or someone who who's a little deeper than that, right up to, to someone who's full-fledged breeding program, generations in type of breeder, you've run, you're, you're going to run into a situation where you're, you're going to ship semen from home, okay? So this is just to help inform uh, people who have to do it, who might not know step by step how to do it or how to do it correctly. Now, this is not out of a book somewhere. This is not some memo that I read on social media. This is this is real life experience from me and experience I've gained from from my fellow breeders that also have years of shipping semen under their belt okay now first thing you're going to need is a shipping kit now the best kit that i've found on the market is canine express everything's included all you have to do is provide the semen and everything is right here in this kit so you'll need a shipping kit, also semen extender. Now I use Kini Skim Milk semen extender with antibiotics or without. Uh, both work and I've used both in the past. First thing I do is read the instructions. Um, on the first page of the instructions, you'll see the sterile water needs to be heated up to 100 degrees. Um, before you can mix. So first thing I do is put hot water in a bowl, put the sterile water in the hot water to heat it up. Now, if, once you open your kit, you'll see on the inside lid that there are instructions step by step. If you don't want to listen to me, if you just got this far in the video and you found the instructions and you want to go but follow them step by step, by all means, they're right on the inside lid. Now, pull your pull your ice pack out of the top. Or pull the lid off. Pull your ice pack out. Now, your ice pack is going to need to be in the freezer for at least 24 hours before you can ship. It needs to be frozen solid. Once you pull the ice pack out, you're going to have pipettes and lube in there. You won't need those unless you're doing an insemination. Underneath all that is going to be your syringes and your travel tubes. Uh, wrapped in protective foam pull one of those or pull both of those out you're only going to be using one unless you're shipping two breedings now uh, the only thing you will have to provide like I said is the semen so you're going to need a collection bag we won't be covering the collection today that's a different video for a different time now once you do have your semen collected you can once your semen is actually collected and in a syringe, you can open your open your sterile water. Now this sterile water should be heated up to where you can physically feel that it's warm to the touch. Not, not scalding hot to the touch, warm to the touch. Now, if you have a thermometer to, to measure the temperature of that sterile water, that would be ideal. It needs to be 100 degrees. Open your skim milk, or your, I'm sorry, open your skim milk semen extender powder packet, mix it with your sterile water. Now, once you've got it mixed with your sterile water, you're going to want to put the semen in the travel tube slowly, gently, don't be rough with the semen. Once the semen is in the travel tube, you're going to want to put extender in the travel tube. Now, another important point is the ratio. Now, I, if you notice, we put six cc's of semen in the travel tube. So we're going to need at least six cc's of the extender. 
So the minimum ratio is one part extender, one part seam. So you want at least six cc's. I prefer to go with two parts extender, one part seam. So we're going to put 12 cc's of extender in with our seam. We have six cc's of seam. We're going to put all of 12 cc's in with the extender or as much as we can get in there, which this is a 16 cc um, travel tube so we you can only get about 10 cc's of extender in there either way the minimum you want is one to one so as long as you have one part extender one part semen in there or more extender than semen you'll be fine now once you've got that in there make sure the lid is screwed on very tightly to your travel tube and your ta travel tube slid down into the protective foam sleeve that it comes in you're going to want to place the foam sleeve down, back down into the semen uh, shipping kit where uh, where it's where it, where you pulled it out of. I I actually faced this the lid out for the video just to show you guys that the the tube is in there. I I actually prefer shipping with the lid facing toward the side wall of the styrofoam. It just helps prevent that tube from sliding out now once you've got that in there and again like i said turned around toward the sidewall slide the lid down on top of of your semen now you're going to want again you're going to want this this uh ice pack to be completely frozen solid 24 hours in the freezer before you ship that's going to be snug down in there snug it down in there the snugger the better now, once that's in there, put the lid back on top and you're ready to ship. Now, sometimes if uh, I've seen people wrap um, duct tape around the styrofoam box on the inside just to make sure the lid doesn't come off. Not necessary, but better to be safe than sorry. Now, again, if you have any questions or doubts or you just want to look at the steps written down on the inside of the semen shipping kit from Canine Express, you'll find step-by-step -step ratio, um, everything you could possibly want to know about the semen shipping process from home is on that lid. Now, if you have any questions for me, you can connect with me on any one of the social media platforms.